as soon as someone step, stepped in my room, they would get an idea, a perfect idea. did a project for 4-H for school and she was one of the winners from her school and she gets to go to district. It is this Saturday and something cool that the 4-H office in our district is offering is um, time with one of their employees to look at your project and help you make improvements so you can get a better score at district. So that is where we're heading. What do you think about that Eminem? m It's cool. We're here. M&M's getting her project, and the rest of them are bringing homework and iPads. Pretty much. I have lots of homework to finish. Oops. How do we get in? That way. Oh. You can go ahead and walk if you want. Is she going to dr district? Yep. I can't hold it. It's spiky. Oh, yeah, it is. Ready? Alright, let's go. It's like a house. I'm going to say when you're ready. I'm going to time you just so that we can have something to look at and time-wise. Time-wise, you ready? Mm-hmm. You may begin. Hello. Today I will be talking about my dream writing room. Writing is something I find myself doing a lot, but I never had the right stuff and ideas to write anything. My dream writing room would be a nice, quiet place to write. Let's get into it. First, I would have art or things that inspire me. Me and my family travel a lot, so family photos are in need in my room. The pink walls in my room would be covered from head to toe in windows and inspirational sayings like the ones you see here. Whenever I look at the walls or anyone else does, they will be inspired. Supplies play a big part in writing good papers. First, I'd need stuff to write with, which means I would need pen pens and pencils. Next, you would need papers and com composition books to write in. Lastly, I would need sticky notes, the sticky notes I would write on to give myself tips. All my supplies would be in a caddy so I can easily access all of them. Additionally, I would have furnishing galore. Right when you walk in my room, there would be a bookcase on the left side. I would keep all my books and some posters on it. On my right side, I would, I would have my desk. Finally, in the front of my room would be win a window which looks out into a galaxy world. Finally, I would have fuzzy blankets. How I did it? Well, I made my desk from popsicle, big popsicle sticks and my bookshelf, I did the same thing. And then for my chair, I just reused these Shopkin like, chairs that I just had and a nail like file thing for the chair. And then I just folded cardboard and hot glued to make them thicker, the books, and then paper for the posters. <laughs> My room would be a nice, quiet place to relax, draw, and write. As soon as someone step, stepped in my room, they would get an idea, a perfect idea. Very good. So we're done at 4-H, and Eminem did her project for the lady that works there, and she gave Eminem some tips. Do you want to tell them what her feedback was, Eminem? I don't remember. There's three things she told you to work on to make more points for your project. What were they? Make a poster board. Poster. Research. Do some research. I don't know the other one. And then... Uh, oh, intro better. Intro and conclusion, yeah. Do you think those are things you can handle? Nope. No? So you're not yeah. going to do them? You're just going to take it as is? Yeah, I'm not sure. No. You're going to work on those things? Yeah. Awesome. Are you excited for Saturday? Nope. Yeah, How are you feeling Saturday. about it? I'm nervous. Nervous? What are you planning to research? Well, like writers like J.K. Rowling and uh, I don't know any others that J.K. Rowling. I know. I'm a nerd. Um, but um, I really don't memorize that stuff. But, and authors like Diary of Wimpy Kid, Ben McKnight and stuff, what are their dream writing rooms? And, like, maybe I can compare and contrast, like, my ideas versus their ideas and and make it more lengthy. Cool. That sounds like a fun thing to research. Yeah. Are you, how are you feeling about Saturday's competition? Nervous. Nervous. But I get to spend a whole day without sunshine and big man. It's a score for me. That is a special thing. That's a score. Score. Nee, 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 n
You mean? Okay. So this is my 4-H project. So first, I don't know where to start. It's just so much. So I made my bookshelf out of jumbo popsicle sticks and smaller popsicle sticks. Um, and same with this. I used jumbo popsicle sticks for the, for the oh no, top and then smaller popsicle sticks for the legs and stuff. The book's pretty self-explanatory, just like Sharpie and um, paper. Same for the art on the walls and this calendar and all that stuff. The blackboard or whatever you would like to call it on the back it is made out of paint and an extra scrap I had from this. And then the carpet on the floor, I just cut a piece off of some felt. My, this I made it uh, my ottoman and I made it out of fluff balls and more felt. The chairs I just recycled. Oh no, the my chair I just recycled um, Shopkin chairs and a pumice stone that I had that just went along with the room and I just sat it on top so it's like a bench. And yeah, that's all that I want to show. <laughs> hey guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And don't forget to comment down below and like this video if you have support for me. And maybe comment if there's anything you should, you think that I could do better on my project. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Forever.